Psalm 7. O Lord, my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me, and deliver me, lest he rend my soul like a lion, rending it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord, my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy, let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies. And awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people can pass thee about. For their sakes therefore return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to my integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reins. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will whet his sword. He, will, he hath bent his bow and made it ready. He hath also prepared for him the instruments of death. He ordaineth his arrows against the persecutors. Behold, he travaileth with iniquity, and hath conceived mischief, and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit and digged it, and has fallen into the ditch which he made. His mischief shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness, and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Here David prays for justice to come upon the wicked, upon those who are persecuting him, upon the unrighteous. As he states in verse 11, God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. He is angry with the wicked every day. Uh, uh, John chapter 3, uh, John chapter 3, excuse me just a second as I get there, states these words, And verse 18 of John 3, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. What does the word of God say about the unconverted who know not Christ as Lord and Savior? They're condemned already. They're already condemned. And in verse 36, of John 3, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. What does John 3.36 state about those who are without Christ? The wrath of God abideth on them now. They are condemned already, verse 18 states. And it's made clear in, in uh, Psalm 7, if he, that is the evil one, the evil people, turn not, that is, if they will not repent, what will God do? He will whet his sword. He hath bent his bow and made it ready to bring judgment and justice upon those who refuse to repent, refuse 
to accept the Lord. Uh, I ask you today, uh, do you know Christ as your only Lord and Savior? Uh, are you in rebellion and mocking God? Look, the Bible says that God's judgment even now hangs over your head. Uh, that you're condemned already because of your sins and because your refusal and your unbelief in Christ. But if you will turn from your sins and turn to Jesus Christ and believe that He died on the cross for your sin and rose again three days later and trust in Him and Him alone for your salvation. My friend, you will be saved. Um, if you would like to know more, please feel free to email me, direct message me, uh, wherever you get this uh, video message. May God bless you abundantly. Amen.